Hello. So in today's uh, overview, we're going to be reviewing primitive types. So first, as you can see here, I have a variable word and I define it as a string. And you know it's a string because of the double quotation marks right here, right? Uh, for Python, defining strings are very simple because we don't need to put any keyword in front here. In Java, for example, you'd have to put string word equals hello. But for Python, it automatically deciphers that because there's two quotation marks over here and here, that this word is a string. So if I just uh, do a simple print statement called print word, what should happen is it should print this string, which is hello, because I'm storing it as a variable. And if I run it, that's what it does. Okay, so our next primitive type is an integer. And an integer is basically any whole number, which does not include fractions. This can be either positive numbers, which are one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, or it can be negative numbers like negative one, negative two, negative three. But what it cannot be is it cannot be like 1.2 or 1.5 because it has a decimal point. It can't be fractions either uh, because fractions count as decimal points as well. So in Python, this is also very simple. You just call a variable called number or num, which is right here. And I just set it equal to one. And it automatically defaults to one as a variable because I don't have any decimal points afterwards. And because I don't have any decimal points after one, it takes it so that one is an integer. So right now I have an integer called num, which is one. Okay, so that that's that. And here I have another variable called number, and this is stored as a float. So a float is basically an integer, but now we can store decimal points as well. So as you can see, I have 1.2. And since I had added a decimal point at the end of one, and I did a 1.2, that means that a Python automatically deciphers that this is a float and this number will be stored as a float. And this number will be stored as a integer. So these are basically like the basic primitive types that you'll need to know. And with these uh, primitive types, we can do basic arithmetic. Let's say I make another variable called sum. I set sum is equal to num plus number. And I print out this sum variable. What do you think we printed out? Well, if you said 2.2, then you'd be correct. If I run this, as you can see, it prints out 2.2. And the reason being is because it adds num, which is defined as one up here, to number which is defined as 1.2 down here. So one plus 1.2, if you do basic arithmetic, it is equal to 2.2. So it'll print this out. Notice how this is an integer and this is a float. And when you add an integer to a float, you will get another float because float takes precedence over the integer. So that's how that works. If I say I wanted to convert this to an integer, which would be a bit more advanced, so you know, it's a fine if you don't understand this fully, but all I need to do is I'd have to write an int in front here. And what this int in front of this summation does is that it downcasts whatever uh, double we have here into an integer. So now, now this sum is forced to be an integer and the way integers work in Python is that it always rounds down. So if we have 2.2, this will uh, go to a two. If this was for say 2.9, it will still be two because it will round down. Python never rounds up, if that makes sense. So uh, here's an example. If I print out sum now, it should print two. But if I change this to, let's just say 1.9, oh, sorry and I run this, it will still be two, even though one plus 1.9 is 2.9, which is closer to three, it will still print two because it goes down. 
So these are the basics of primitive types. There's one more, which is Booleans, but Booleans are only useful with if statements. And we'll learn if statements later on in the course. Thank you.